Welcome to the WordPress Content Scroller Academy. Today we will see HTML and CSS selectors in a very brief way, then use it inside the WordPress Content Scroller plugin. So, what is HTML and CSS? HTML is basically the structure of a website and CSS is used to style this structure. For demonstration purposes, I picked the post page from techcrunch.com. In order to see the HTML, we will just click anywhere on the website and click inspect. If you specifically click on anything else like a title and inspect that, it will directly go and select that one. Don't worry about it now. On the HTML, you will see smaller than and greater than signs and head and body and stuff like this. This is called a tag. A tag is head and this is called a starter tag. And with the slash, this is an end tag. You will open a tag and close a tag. This is how HTML works. You see, just nearby it, there's something called class, ID, and all other stuff. This is called attributes. Using that, you can classify it, style it. Let's move on. Why do we care about this? This is basically the structure of the website. That HTML tells the browser that there is a head there and body there. And we have a div tag, which is basically the container. Like in real life, you put stuff in it. So how do we use it? What is it good for? What those text does is telling the browser that we have this and that and the structure is like this. Okay. Now let's move on to the CSS, CSS selectors. We will start with the star sign. You see the star I will write here. Uh, you can pick every single element on the page with this one and it can be used with child selectors so we will explain the combination of star with the child selectors just a little bit later so I will move on to ID ID is we use the hash symbol or number symbol let's say I will write down an ID ID is unique in the code this is why they are giving it an ID um, if I like to get multiple, I will just write down a class like a content. So there are multiple contents, but there is only one unique ID. All right. So we want to get something multiple. We can go for classes. Other than this, we will write down the article, which is a tag or type you can call. Okay any article we will pick this is let's say I will write div article what does this do div is a tag article is a tag in order to see select this we will write down the tag white space or this is called actually the descendant selector for tag then the tag name we like to go this will look for the children just like this if you not put any space in between and no white space it means it will look inside the tag here starter tag here between here and not to the children so it's not valid for our case what I write it will find like this we will look further for the plus Plus is, for example, I take the header, I put the plus, let's say I want to get the post block content. I just know it from the head. You don't have to memorize anything related to this. You will just look into it. So this plus, what does this do? This is called a JSON selector. It will select only the element that is immediately preceded by the former element. 
which means the header is here and after just after this this is a class I'm just looking for let's move on to the greater than greater than sign is this one for example I have an h3 tag with an a this will only select direct children and not the children of children no grandchildren nothing what does this do h3 tag is here direct the children okay you see it found four of them here one two three four i remove this now it will look the children of h3 for the a tag and it found 12 of it because this is okay children children this is not direct children this is children of children for h3 see direct children is div tag and a is the children of div grandpa h3 let's move on to our next next selector tilde uh, it is similar to the plus but less trick for example div plus p will select directly after the div the piece okay directly after it directly after it but the tilde when i change it it will select all the p under div okay this is called sibling selector just familiarize yourself with the descriptions for now we will see selectors in action within wordpress content crawler um, what if I like to pick anything, any other attributes than classes or IDs? We are using hash symbol for IDs and dot for the classes. And how about I like to get the href? I use the square bracket and write down the name of the attributes. As you can see, it selects the href. I can be more specific and write down any other any value here and it will select the exactly same thing instead of every href it will select the one i write it down so just put the brackets here what if i don't want to write all the link down there and i just want to look for maybe uh, twitter as you noticed i put the star sign here star symbol as i mentioned before selects everything now we combinate this within the brackets it will select anything with twitter value in it within the href attributes so as you can see twitter.com blah blah i can write everything down but instead of this i just write twitter it starts looking for twitter i can write com it will come up with all the comms inside the link or I don't want to write it like this I want to use the caret symbol this is the beginning of this string for example for an href I was expecting HTTP to come up as you can see 46 of them come up I just want to want the href start with HTTP in this case what if I add an S? It will come up with 34 results. What if I want to add a dollar sign here and write a com? All right, this only picks the end of it. We use caret for the head of it, for the end of it, the dollar sign. It selects all the coms. All right. Another thing we can look for, what if I like to pick every div except the one that contains the root ID. This one I don't want. How do I do this? I don't want this not div not. It's not working. How about we put some column there and brackets around root. Now I picked every div except the one that contains ID attribute root okay this is a simple trick for you not is used like this what if I can write the child's one 
by the way this is called as pseudo selectors and child I want the second I want the third I want the fifth sixth ninth whatever you want you just put the column you write the end child inside the brackets you write the number of the child it will come up with whatever you're looking for same goes for the first child okay first child of the this is very broad just for example how about the last child it will select a lot of stuff because every div is like last child of something how about the only child it will select something too as you can see it was 61 here and last child is 141 it's not really recommended to use this child stuff in the WordPress content crawler since it is not really flexible I mean whenever the child changes your selector will pick up something else or it will be completely useless we will see the examples in the following video now it is your turn to practice here is your question I will leave the link of this content page we've been working on in the description click inspect open this page here then use Ctrl plus F for Windows or Command F for the Mac operation systems and open there. Then write me a selector that selects every P types where the parent is article content class. Okay? I want article content class, every P, except the P with the speakable summary ID. Okay, here is your article content. There is the ID. I don't want this one. So anything, another P and parent is article content. Try to do it in a simple way. Write down your answers in the comments so we can discuss. On the next video, we will see selectors in action within the WordPress content crawler. And finally, time for some rock and roll. We will put the link for that video on the screen if you want to try out WordPress content crawler demo for free or check out our beautiful guides, links are on the description. Feel free to ask us anything. See you in the next one.